Mom, I'm really worried. I haven't paid my college fees for three months. Today is my final exam, but the teacher might not let me in. Oh no, Barry. Don't worry. I will figure something out. How, Mom? I don't want to miss my exam. I will talk to your teacher. I will promise to pay the fees in a week. But what if the teacher doesn't agree? I will be so disappointed. We will hope for the best, Barry. I will try my best to convince them. I wish we had the money now. I feel bad for putting this on you, Mom. It's okay, Barry. You focus on your exam. I will handle the fees. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Anything for you, my dear. Now, let's stay positive and hope for a solution. I will try not to stress too much. I will study hard for the exam. I'm lucky to have you, Mom. And I'm lucky to have you, Barry. Now, let's handle one issue at a time. We will figure it out together. Good morning mom dad. I'm going to college and my final exams start today. Good morning my darling. Are you prepared for your exam today? Yes dad. I have studied hard and I will do my best. Have you had your breakfast Eliza? Yes mom. I ate already. That's good. Remember to stay calm and focused during the exam. After your exam, we will celebrate. And then, we will start looking for a suitable match for you Eliza. Mom, please tell Dad I'm not ready to get married yet. I want to enjoy my life a little more. Don't worry Eliza. Your father is just joking. Of course I am, sweetheart. You have plenty of time to think about marriage. Thanks Dad. I want to focus on my studies and career for now. That's the spirit, dear. We just want you to be happy and successful. Your support means everything to me. I will make you both proud. Barry, I'm sorry, but you can't sit for the final exam today. You haven't paid your fees. Please, teacher. Give me just one more week. My mother is arranging the fees. I promise she will pay it soon. Please let me take the exam. I understand. But the rules are the rules. Without payment, I can't allow you to sit for the exam. But this exam is really important for me. I have studied so hard for it. Please, there must be something we can do. Barry, I feel with your situation, but my hands are tied. You must pay the fees before you can take the exam. Is there no way I can take the exam now and pay my fees later? I promise to pay as soon as possible. I'm sorry, Barry, but I can't change the rules just for one person. Once you have paid the fees, I will gladly allow you to sit for the exam. I understand, but I'm really disappointed. I was counting on taking this exam today. I understand how difficult it is, but you have to solve the matter. You may go now. Madam, I want to help him. I feel sorry for Barry. Oh, Eliza, it's kind of you to offer, but how will you help him? What if I offered to pay his fees? Barry is a good student. 
and maybe he is going through a tough time. I could ask my dad to help out. Are you sure about this, Eliza? It's a generous offer. Yes, madam. I really believe Barry deserves a chance. And if it's just a matter of fees, I'm sure my dad won't mind helping. Well, if you are willing to do that, I don't see any problem. It's very kind of you, Eliza. Go and ask him to come in. Okay, I will call him. Hey Barry, come on in. I can't Eliza. The teacher won't let me because I haven't paid my fees yet. Don't worry about the fees. I have already paid them for you. The teacher said you can come in now. What? You paid my fees? But why would you do that? Because we are classmates, Barry. We are in this together. Don't worry about paying me back right now. Just focus on your exam. I don't know what to say, Eliza. Thank you so much. You have really saved me. It's no problem at all. I know you would do the same for me if I were in trouble. I will, definitely. You can count on me. Now, let's not waste any more time. The exam is starting soon. Come on, let's go. Our daughter is growing up so fast. We should start thinking about finding a suitable match for her. Hold on a minute. Did you forget what Eliza told us? She is not ready for marriage yet. Let her enjoy her life a bit longer. I understand, but times are changing. And girls can be quite naive nowadays. What if she makes a wrong decision? We are very respectable people. That's true, but we have to trust Eliza. She is smart and responsible. She will make the right choices when the time comes. We will talk about it later, all right? You are already running late for the office. Oh, you are right. I completely forgot. Give me a kiss before I go. Take care and have a good day at work. Thank you, my love. I will see you later. Eliza, please wait a moment. Thanks again for helping me out today. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, Barry, it's no problem at all. Helping others makes me happy. Well, I'm really grateful. You saved me from missing my exam. I'm glad I could help. Hey, by the way, what does your father do? I don't have a father anymore. He passed away two years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. How do you manage your education expenses then? My mother works as a maid in people's houses. She is the only one I have in this world. But after I graduate, I plan to find a job and help her out. That sounds tough, Barry. You and your mom must be really strong. Yeah, we do what we have to do. But I will make sure to take care of her in the future. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Thank you, Eliza. But you have already done so much for me today. I really appreciate it. It's no big deal. From now on, we are best friend, okay?